Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to the Eon Laser USA YouTube channel. In today's video, we will show you how to install a 4 inch lens on Anova. You will need Allen keys, a microfiber cloth, a 4 inch lens, a Nova lens tool, powder free nitrile gloves, a flat piece of scrap material, and a pen or a marker. In stage one, you'll remove the two and a half inch lens. Start by removing the air hose from the air fitting on the laser head by pushing on the blue retainer ring and pulling the air hose free. Then on the left side of the laser head, loosen the thumb screw until the lens housing is released. Then remove the lens housing from the laser head and flip it upside down. Using the Nova lens tool from the toolkit, gently unscrew the retainer ring inside the lens housing until the retainer ring, silicone o-ring, and lens is fully removed. Reinstall the empty sliding lens housing back into the laser head and set the slider approximately to marker 10. Tighten the thumb screws until the lens housing is firmly in place. Then push the air hose back into the air fitting on the lens housing and lightly tug to ensure it is seated fully. In stage two, you will install the four inch lens. Start by locating the four inch lens housing at the top of the laser head. It looks like a small red rectangle. Then use an Allen key, one and a half millimeter to two millimeter, depending on your machine, to remove the mounting bolts on either side of the four inch lens housing. Set the bolts aside for reinstallation later on. Then carefully remove the four inch lens housing from its slot in the laser head. And using a one and a half millimeter Allen key, remove the tiny lens mounting bolts and plastic white washers from the housing and set them aside. Then retrieve and carefully place the four inch lens into the four inch lens housing. Ensure the lens is installed in the proper direction, dome side up. Then reinstall the tiny lens mounting bolts with a one and a half millimeter Allen key. Ensure the white washers are in place. It is good practice to get all three bolts threaded before fully seating, but be careful to not over tighten the lens mounting bolts. Return the four inch lens housing into its original position inside the laser head. Then push firmly on the housing to ensure it is seated fully in the laser head. Then reinstall the mounting bolts removed in step two to either side of the laser head to secure the housing. And that's it, the four inch lens is now installed. Before you can begin, it's time to calibrate the autofocus. Place a flat piece of scrap material into the laser bed, then autofocus on that material. Then close the machine's lid and quickly tap the pulse button on the keypad. Remove the scrap material from the bed and inspect the pulse mark, but do not move the laser head or the bed. Look at the Z value on the keypad. Write the value near the pulse mark and reposition the material under the laser head. Once the material is repositioned, use the Z down arrow to lower the bed down one millimeter. Then close the machine's lid and quickly tap pulse on the keypad.
Remove the scrap material from the bed and inspect the pulse mark. Do not move the laser head or the bed. Then look at the Z value on the keypad again and write the value under the pulse mark, and then reposition the material under the laser head. Repeat those steps for a total of three pulse marks. Once the material is repositioned, autofocus onto the material. Use the Z up arrow to raise the bed up one millimeter after autofocusing. Then close the machine's lid and quickly tap pulse on the keypad. Remove the scrap material from the bed and inspect the pulse mark. Be careful not to move the laser head or the bed. Then look at the Z value on the keypad and write the value by the pulse mark. Then reposition the material under the laser head. Repeat steps 8 through 10 once more for a grand total of 5 pulse marks. Closely inspect the pulse marks. If the current setting is close, the range of dots should look like a gradient, with the dot size likely increasing on the outer ends of the spectrum. If so, identify which Z value looks to have the finest pulse mark. Find the difference between the fine pulse mark Z value and the Z value when autofocused. Then adjust the slider in the appropriate direction based on the value found. And that's it. The autofocus for the 4-inch lens has been successfully calibrated. Thank you so much for watching.